From Harvard to hedge funds to high-end jewelry design, Margaret Brennan on the story of a woman for whom the bling is not the thing. From the first lady of daytime television. She was wearing my earrings on the cover of her February issue. To first lady Laura Bush. Designer Joan Horning's jewelry has attracted high profile customers. The first lady had four necklaces made, which White House bought for her to give to first ladies of the world as gifts from her. But the appeal is not just about the contemporary aesthetic of Hornig's high-end designs, which are sold at upscale retailers like Neiman Marcus and Bergdorf Goodman. Um, these are South Sea pearls with diamond clasp. This would be about $140,000. But also the socially conscious aspect of her business. This Harvard educated hedge fund consultant, come designer, hopes to do for luxury jewels what Paul Newman's foundation has done with popcorn and salad dressing, donating 100% of each jewelry purchased to charity. Why not find a way to combine the passion for beautiful things with the passion for doing important deeds? Hornig is taking that concept a step further, allowing customers to decide which charity will receive the proceeds from each purchase of items like these $1,200 Georgette drops or $725 lollipop earrings. Use your taste and your knowledge and your passions and I'm going to combine them with my passion which is to have beautiful things generate beautiful actions. Hornig designs her jewelry, runs her business and even sells to buyers all right here out of her home. And while she still consults for a hedge fund, 100% of that salary goes towards funding this jewelry business. Hornig's staff of three operate out of her Park Avenue home. In the three years that she's been in business, Hornig has raised more than $300,000 for over 160 different charities. I think that we have to have new ways to um, create philanthropic dollars into a stream other than just people writing checks, other than just corporations. And while she believes her mission is one of philanthropy, Hornig also loves jewelry and enjoys the design aspect of her business. You design for something you would wear yourself, or who are you thinking of? Every single piece that I make, I will own if I don't sell it. So if a buyer doesn't scoop up this $35,000 tourmaline necklace, Hornig will eat that cost. But for her, this labor of love is about turning investments in beautiful jewelry into good returns. For CNBC's High Net Worth, I'm Margaret Frennan.